Hello, Sweet Tooth here. Hope your day is going well. Hakuna Matata. There was a game that I was planning on uh, doing uh, Let's Play on, you know, to actually show what the game is like. Uh, at the time that I did the uh, Brutal Doom mod and I did Duke Nukem. So I think maybe I should go back to the original first game that I intended to try to record because I played some of it on Twitch, but I didn't actually record any of it so far and actually it is a good game it's got a it's got a very awkward and dumb kind of plot to it but the action uh battles of it are actually really good so if you're looking for a good game that was made by square enix uh at the time that they were making amazing uh, final fantasy games uh one of the games that was overlooked is called the last remnant now, it's really good. It's uh, it's got a really, really good uh, combat system to it. And ultimately, you could actually have 18 enemies fighting an 18 enemy. So you can have an 18 enemy versus, versus 18 enemies battle. Not including those battles that include other waves. What I mean by this is... It's very uh, warlike. It's a very warlike game, and you need to be careful uh, because the uh, it's one of those games that you need a very, very good strategy, or you will lose. It's very warlike, so the combat is very involved, and uh, there's a lot of enemies to deal with. So, without further ado, the last remnant. Just let you soak it up for a second to have a feeling for what the game is like. And it has amazing music too. I know you're going to hate the story, but the story is not actually the entirety of the game. The entirety of the game is actually awesome. The combat system and the music, the way everything makes you feel, is the atmosphere of the game that really got me. Not the plot. So ignore the plot for some part of it. <laughs> Damn. Where is she? favorite
Ready, my lord. Victory shall be ours! What is this? There you go. Don't worry, I'll explain what's going on uh, in a while. Well, I'll try to explain what's going on. Wait for it. Me getting flanked attacks is not good. Anyways, the whole idea is to deadlock an enemy and to try to flank him. There are about six enemy units right now. Each five of my enemy, uh, each one of my five unions are trying to engage six enemy unions. All six of these unions. So, you'll see on the left side, uh, my first union is uh, deadlocked with uh, D. My second union is deadlocked with C. My third union is deadlocked with B. The whole idea is not to get uh, flanked. The problem is there's six enemy unions. So one enemy union is free to flank one of mine. Also, there's a lot of other differences too. There's interference, which means uh, when I got interference on the enemy, the enemy tried to deadlock a union but one of my other unions uh, interfered with that. Therefore, my morale bar went up a little. And the morale bar actually helps... Uh, it actually helps your ability to actually win this fight. 
if your morale is down, your uh, unions are not going to fight as well as they should, and you'll see that will actually be kind of painful. Anyways, Lord David in the first union, the one that I'm selecting right now, he actually has the uh, last, he has a remnant called Gay Bulg. The Gay Bulg is not necessarily gay, but it's actually an awesome remnant, and Lord David is actually an awesome guy. So, the, uh, this fight is mainly just to be like a, get a feel for what's going on kind of thing. The problem is, is that you never really get the feel of this whole combat sequence and combat system until you're like at, you know, really far into the game because it's so complicated. It's really, really complicated on how to build all your unions and how to have them all fight effectively. Trust me. This game is very, very, very involved strategy-wise. Anyways. Guess it's time, huh? All troops fall back. Any stragglers? I'll get caught in the blast. What is Emma doing? She's too close. The Gable's firing sequence is complete. Not even Lord David can stop it now. you oh, that's what I should be asking you uh, wait hold on huh? that's how they both died the end <laughs> you know if you ever play blue dragon on uh, Xbox Ow. the same kind of thing happens but then you have to fight poo snakes yeah, you actually go underground and then you fight poo snakes. I'm not kidding. Is that you, Blockter? I'm fine. I can see a light in the distance. That should be the way out. Yes, sir. Hey! Wait up, lady. What's going on? The gay bulb blew a hole in the ground, and now we're in this cave. Anything else obvious you'd like pointed out? Cave? At least the exit isn't far. Hey, wait! Listen to me! Hey! <laughs> I'll hear whatever you have to say once we get out of here. Your story better be good, spy. What do you mean, spy? Think about it, genius. Why else would you be on a battlefield? What are you talking about? I'm just looking for my sister, Arena. Arena? What's your name? Me? Rush! Rush Sykes! Rush... Sykes? Ow... So you're looking for your sister? What happened to her? Speak! We're from this island called Ulam. <laughs> Arena! It's a package for Mom and Dad! Oh, 
it's probably just a new lame excuse why they can't leave their research. Hey, cheer up, sis. Whoops. It's a visa stone. Let me set it up. Oh. Hi, Rush. Hello, Arena. Are you two behaving yourselves? Both of us are having a great time here at the Academy in Illusion, and we were lucky enough to have a breakthrough in our research. But, as you probably guess, things are taking longer than expected. See? So Told your you. your father and I agreed that you should come live with us in Illusion. It's always about what they want. What we found is a key that lets us use the remnants in new ways. It's gonna change the world for the better. But you kids are more important to us. And I'm sorry we haven't been out to visit for so long. John, we're running out of time. Oh, uh, right. We'll be sending someone to pick you up. Better start packing your bag. And Rush, you look after your sister, all right? Take care of yourself. We'll be seeing you. Out of time. Dad's never been good at keeping track. You worried about leaving? A little. I mean, I've never been off the island before. Uh, I'll be fine. After all, we'll be back with Mom and Dad. You know it. Huh? W what? What? him. Attacked by some flying beast and protected by the light from your talisman. Child, do you think I'm senile? It's all true. <sighs> Whatever. First things first. We need to get out of here. <laughs> Uh. Emma has joined the party. What is that? It's a treasure chest, a type of remnant. They're not that uncommon. Remnants, huh? There could be any number of things inside. Find out! Bind it! Bind? What do you mean? You have to bind the remnant 
to use it. In this case, just reach out your hand and ask it to show you what's inside. It's simple enough that you, even you can do it, so long as someone else hasn't bound it first. A hey, sword, huh? I suppose you can keep that. You won't be quite as useless. Bye bye, Emma! Put that sword in my hand! This spy's got some killing to do. <laughs> Press P to open the party menu. I'm not using a keyboard. Oh! Yeah, I'll just see a spy. Woo! Quiet. Is that what you were fighting before? Yes, monstrous like? We it looks like we can't avoid them. Let's initiate a battle before they spot us. Let's do this! Oh, I messed it up. Damn, they noticed us. I thought I told you to initiate a battle. Let's do this! We don't need to fight it, though. <laughs> Let's do this. We don't need to fight it, Emma. I just made it Get angry. Each entity in the battle is called a unit. These units are organized into groups called unions. In battle, you will command friendly unions for large-scale assaults. The specific directions you may give are displayed as battle commands. Yep. 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 Come on, let's kick some A. Dead. Probably gonna be a raid lock. Nope, that's a dead lock. Probably should save. Something's wrong. What's he doing on the roof? I wasn't expecting this. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Seriously, what was he doing on the roof? Morale. The large red and blue bar across the top of the screen is called the morale gauge. It measures you and your enemies' will to fight. As morale rises. Attacks become stronger and more effective. Conversely, as morale falls, defenses weaken and unions do less damage. Morale fluctuates based on the performance of both sides in battle. That is incorrect because morale fluctuates whenever it feels like fluctuating. Trust me, morale is very independent on whatever it feels like doing later on. Make it a habit to keep track of your truth morale. You really can't. You just have to hope it's high. <laughs> I am not kidding. Come on, let's kick some eggs. Yeah. Keep it up. Won't let bullies like you get in my way.
So, your talisman's more than a fashion accessory after all. Huh? My lord! You did not have to come all this way for me. Please, accept my apologies. Seeing you safe is apology enough. And who is this? He claims to be the son of Dr. Sykes. Oh, I see. I am Torgo, one of Athlum's four generals. Our lord, the Marquis of Athlum, would like to extend his thanks. Step forward. I will have you know that your actions have won my gratitude. As for your sister, if the men you seek have entered Athlumian territory, we cannot turn a blind eye. I shall accompany you to Athlum. Huh? Our Lord would like to aid you in your search for your sister. It's fine, Torgo. Thanks a lot. I chased that weird flying thing here, but I didn't have a clue where to go next. But hey, if I've got an important guy like you backing me up, I've got a whole lot less to worry about. This is Ace! The name's Rush. Rush Sykes. Who are you? I am David Nassau, the Marquis of Athlum. You may address me as David. Sure thing, Dave. Let us return and see what tidings await us in Athlum. All troops, return to Athlum immediately. Yes, my lord. Come on, Dave, let's go. <laughs> you will! Have you no manners? That is no way to address the Marquis of Athlum. Jeez, what's your problem? He's surprisingly simple, wouldn't you say? We have yet to see. And yes, Rush Sykes is a very, very weird individual. Yep, yep, yep. Also, this uh, map menu, this is pretty awesome. This is how you know you're going to war. Anyways, let's go to Athlum. That is a remnant. Waste no time in sniffing out the rats who kidnapped Arena. Togo? Rush, we have prepared a room for you within the castle. After your journey from Ulam Island, you must want to rest and recover from your presumably arduous journey. So I just sit on my butt and do nothing? Yeah, right. I'll go find those guys myself. Fine. Do as you like. But try not to do anything too foolish. We shouldn't let him have free run of the castle until we've verified his story. I'll get on it. Okay. Uh, I'm going now. Hello? If it's information you seek, 
there is a certain pub in Virtus Parish you might care to investigate. Come to the castle if you need anything of us. All right, I'm on it. Do you see how Russia Russia's dialogue does not match with anything? His actions are really awkward too. These are very, very important, so kind of want to get some of those. I am not kidding. You don't really need to talk to anybody that has like a dialogue box. That has a uh, red outlined with it. It'll be like a dialogue box with red on the border of the dialogue box itself. You, you'll know. You'll see it. The buckler. Well, guess I can't have that. Wait a second. I gotta go back. I think I forgot to talk to somebody. Ah. Never mind. Town Square. Yeah, you can't really do anything. The only thing you can do is go to the pub. Which is to my left, but... Yeah, not really anything you can do. You can talk to this shady character, this hoodlum. Hey! You better watch your step around this part of town! You might find people that are so nice to kids that look like they got a bit of corn. Of course, Lord Dave's cleaned most of their real mob trash out of town. But you still can't be too careful. He's probably the most interesting uh, individual in uh, this place. Nope, I can't do anything. I can't do anything! God damn it. Welcome to the Warrior's Honor. Hello. You aren't a familiar face. Trust me, I'd remember a face like yours. You must be new to Athlum, huh? So I want you to know, if you have any questions at all, come straight to me. I can give you a personal tour. Wink, wink. What? You're trying to meet Lord the Bead. 
Well, he receives visitors in Nathlin Castle. That's further into the city. That said, it's not like just anyone can walk in and get an audience. Of course, for a cutie like you, he may make an exception. Just gonna walk right out of this bar. The bartender himself is hitting on Rush. Welcome to Last Remnant! The best game ever! <laughs> Young Master, Rush Sykes has arrived! Did you learn anything about Arena? Pagus. I am Pagus, one of the four generals of Athla. As for Miss Arena, I regret to say that we have yet to uncover any new leads. Nevertheless, we have learned two interesting facts. One, some suspicious types were spotted escorting a young girl to the Gaslin Cave. That's gotta be. And the other thing? We've also received reports of nocturnal activity near the Robelia Castle ruins. The ruins have long been a den for petty thieves. What's to say this is any different? Not what? Who? A trusted source informs me that Athlumian soldiers have been seen leaving the ruins. That certainly is interesting. Hey, thanks, Pagus. I'll go check out those two places right away. Not so fast, Rush. My generals shall accompany you there. Maintaining the peace and stability of Athlum is our duty. We cannot stand idly by while she is threatened. What's more? Master Rush is the son of the world-famous Remnant researchers. Naturally, we will do our utmost to aid such an important family. My apologies. We had your background checked. I'm used to it. Having famous parents isn't all bad, you know. It's all right, Emma. Go ahead. Yes, my lord. I was able to contact the Academy branch in Cella Palais. I informed them that we will be taking care of Rush. You talked to the Academy? That's a relief and a half. I'd given up trying to get in touch with them. I mean, it's like shouting at a brick wall. It is a group prone to secrecy. You're a lifesaver, Emma. Still, it's uncertain when or if the message will get to the headquarters in Illusion. Of course it will! Come on, my sister was kidnapped! Even the Academy suits wouldn't keep that from Mom and Dad! Bear in mind, the Sykes are presently involved in top-level research. It may take some time for them to respond. Until then, I will assist you by any means necessary. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Gasling Caves. How does how does Rush Sykes say, hey, I tried to contact them, you know, the scientists, in their top-level research, but they were secretive? How does Sykes know? How does Rush Sykes know? I mean, all we know is that he was on an island, his sister got kidnapped, and he ended up in a big battle somewhere else. So... How? How does he know? And also, where is this quote-unquote island? If you look at the map, Athlum is actually like 
pretty far inland. It's not really like on the coast or anything. So, where is this quote-unquote island? You're never, ex you're never told where this island is. The island only has one mention, and then it's never ever mentioned again. It's really weird. That's why I say don't pay attention to the plot. The plot is just so weird, even though some parts of the uh, action sequences of the plot are pretty awesome. But mostly the uh, uh, combat. The combat and the music. That's the best part of this. It's actually pretty awesome. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. I hope you have yourself a good day, and this is Sweet Tooth signing off. I love you.